When a woman is given the tools and opportunities to support herself, the impact created goes far beyond her. It creates a cycle of women empowerment where one generation inspires and uplifts the next. For Lydia Wasike, this realization led her to begin the Yomosko organization, an institution that offers young women an opportunity to rise against all odds. Her inspiration came from getting a child at 14 years old and ending up on the streets. Uh, I gave birth at a, a teenager age. I was only 14 years. Nikapata mtoto wa kike. Yeah, so what I went through, ni kitu yenye ilinguza sana because I, I nilipitia mengi sana. Nikikuja kuishi nilikuja baba dogo with my aunt. My aunt alinikaribisha tukakaa naye. But challenges za maisha kila mtu na maisha yake, maisha ikuwa rahisi. Mpaka ikanisukuma, nikakosa mahali pa kuka. Nikajikuta kwa street with my baby. Sina mahali pa kuenda like completely sina na mtoto ni mdogo. Nilitoka tu inche ya plot. Yo place ilikuwa inaitua ngomongo. Kitu 30 minutes. Nililia. I think nililia ile uchungu ya. Huna mzazi, huna mahali pa kuenda. Uo mama kasikia, akatoka inja, akachungulia. Akaniambia sawa. Sasa mbi mali neza kusaidia. I'll take you in kama mtoto wangu. Tukakaka first week, second week, akanipeleka training. Akanipeleka kwa rafiki yake. Akaniambia nimepu msichana. You coach her mpaka ajue kushona. The moment atajua kushona, uniambia mejua kushona, nitajua venye nita, nita, nita msaidia from there. So nikielekea kumaliza, kaniambia now, there is somewhere wana recruit watu. Mambo na kushona in a certain company, just near ilikuwa baba dogo. Can you do that work? Nikamambia, yes, of course. Nilifanya almost a year. Nikapata something. Nikasef for some, almost nine months. Nika kazi yangu kariyo banki. After kweka kazi yangu, then, maisha tuika kwa sawa, like, goda lifungwa milango. She saw the crucial need to change this narrative by equipping young women with different skills. Kuna mschana. Nika muona anashinda akikuja. Kila siku wa subui, anaka mahali na mtuta mejikunja. Nika muuliza, unayu wili mkushona? Haka sema hee. Uneza ataka kujua? Haka sema hee. Sana nika mchukua. Haka mza training hapo kwangu. Haka maliza. Haka pata kazi hapo tu kwa kwa soko. So after kumaliza, Coming from difficult backgrounds, these women have to undergo mental counseling sessions to help them cope with difficult emotions and break unhealthy patterns that could derail them in the program. After mental awareness, which to live for every Mondays, after computer classes, we can have mental awareness at least one, one funswa. My motivation is. When I just see these girls win, it's all about uh, changing these girls' lives. Starting with just three students in a rented stall, Yomosko has grown and now offers various technical courses that are considered basic and important. Our founder started this vision well before 2019, but it was not like clearly defined what she wanted to do as part of the organization. And now this is when now she started to see there's a need to work with young people in these communities that are not very wealthy or anything. The first cohort we had had 12 graduates, that was last year. This year we had one cohort that started in January, they finished in June. There were about 20 students. Now we have already begun the second cohort and they will be graduating in December. With the help of the community, the organization is able to get tutors who volunteer to teach the women. We are now currently partnering with Life Ministry and Kin International. We also have a few friends, families who come and step in for us. At the moment, we are also trying to get grants from the government, from other NGOs. Yeah, we're just working towards getting the resources to work for the organization, yes. As Yomosko, we are privileged, I would say, to be centered in a community organization. We are very, we work very closely with the churches and the communities around us, with the Nyumbakumis and the chairman of 
different places here. Though the organization is able to manage the current number of students, nothing is without its challenges. Unajua everything ni mambo na resources. Unapata like for the staff for the tutors they volunteer. You can't trace a volunteer your entire time. Unapata like sasa mwalimu amekuja amefunza for a month then anaona eh hey, sitaendelea hivi anaenda another one maybe mwingine anakuja hiyo ku change of tutors pia inaleta ni challenges zenye tunapitia sana as per now we have very many ladies who would like to benefit from the organization but currently we are not able to accommodate many people because we have a small space also the programs that we have currently running require a lot of resources we have hair and beauty we have fashion and design and the resources are not so many it is not easy to divide the resources equally among all programs so we can only we are only able to have the 20 students that's the maximum we can have per cohort seeing successful stories of women who have turned their lives around and made a good life for themselves Lydia gets the motivation to push through the difficult days knowing that each girl empowered is a step to progress in every aspect of society. Na enjoy tu kuwafunza. Wakishajua kushona hivyo nikiona mtu amejisimamia that is my joy. The computer classes are mandatory for all students to help them grow with the constant evolution of digital technology. I was looking for a job which it was hard because people who are employing people, they want people who are skilled. And me, I'm just from school, so I didn't have skills. One of the members at your mosque, Madam Elizabeth, uh, talked to my mom, and they encouraged me to come here. It has built my confidence, and I'm getting to learn a lot of skills. I like to teach one or two people the skills that I've learned, to also help them to gain something from that and also I'm aiming to start my own business for Anne a young mother of two being here has given her a shift in mindset by interacting with her peers and tutors she understands that her voice matters and she has the power to break barriers that have held back generations wewe wakazani nipata nikiwa shule after kujifungua everybody in my family wakani wakani toroka tu tangu nikuja hapa in mosco yani nimeona life kama ime ime change siko siko venye nilikuwa before sasa ina na at least nimeanza major kuchona lakini kile nilikuwa najua sana ilikuwa anga hair and beauty. Sana niona hiyo nimejua sana acha ninge hii kushona juu hii kushona at least unaweza pata job. Hiyo ndio watu wengi wanatufa. Most of these women have shown significant growth owing to the dedication of the tutors and fellow students who encouraged them to strive to be better each day. The growth has been quite a lot. You know when they come here some of them are fresh from high school they've not learned anything other apart from our organization what we offer. Some of them also may have dropped out in primary school or something. So when they come here we start from the very basic lesson of in all their programs if it is tailoring we start from the basics of learning about the machine, parts of the machine, how to to step on the machine gradually the the hair classes you also learn you can see clearly from when somebody entered and how they are faring on mental health yangu haiko kama vile ilikuwa juu last time mko watu nasema ah hawa tinda wapeleka wapi life ni ngumu kuna kitu naweza fanya lakini sasa hii niko na watu wenye wananitia hope na wananisaidia kwa mental health yangu. Nilipata kujua history about your mosque through a friend who is alumni. Yeye pia alisomea hapa. I'm passionate about makeup since I've got a dream from childhood. I wanted to be like Wabosha. 
challenge big sana kwa madem ni kupata job. So without the skills you can't get any job. Lillian Bathi, a successful graduate from the organization with skills on events and decoration, sees how the opportunity has opened new possibilities for her. She can now stand on her two feet and support her child. To ulifanya graduation last year, wanasoma hapa in Moscow, nifanya events and decoration. Sina nafanya na Nairobi County, but still niko na Said Hustle, inye nafanya events and decoration. Niko na hizo our clients, wana ni advertise for our clients wenzao. Mutu wakama mekuja ni mafanya kazi mzuri, ana ni refer uko. Lidi ya kuna time, ilifika, singeza kujilipia nyumba. Ali feel iyo, ali ona iyo pain ilikuwa na iyo, kama kukua single mother, kuna mtoto, mtoto kuna mtoto kwa disembled, hauna kazi, hauna mbele, hauna nyuma, mtoto wana itaji therapy, itaji vitu mingi, sana. So, ali nichukua kama mtoto wake, kani kombole ya nyumba, kanza kumipua wa idea, diyo kakuja, akaleto ya Mosko, nikasoma. Vile ali nipata nikiwa, si vile niko, by then, Mesha ilikuwa mechapa kusawa sawa kabisa. Sayin na jitengemea. Niko job, nafanya events, na shukuru mungu. Kitoka home, kikuja yu Moscow. Kuja nile ya kilia, nimeenda kusoma, na nita make in life. Kuyota sisi, kama like, kwa mfano mimi, kama siyo kujituma, nisinge kuwa maali penye niko. With inspiration and encouragement from their mentors and teachers here, they dedicate their time to sharpen their skills knowing that they shall rise against all odds to show the world their strength, intelligence, and transform generations to come. Mimi kwa mfano nyinge kuwa ni kwa ido. Leo hii pengine nyinge kuwa, nilishe ingia kwa kutumia madawa za kulevia, nyinge kuwa ni kwa hali mbaya. But since nilingia yu Moscow, ni kwa hapa ni mesoma, leo hii na an, ni kwa sawa. That's like me, to, to, to not give up and to work hard and improve in whatever they are doing. I would urge people that are going through these difficult situations that they should come out and be, be strong in whatever they are doing. Grasp something, grasp a, a skill. It will help you, it will, it will motivate you, it will also give you value in your life. My wish is that I can touch so many lives. Like, it's in limit in the equal to I want to go kwenda kabisa everywhere. I want to touch lives. I want to change lives.